Thank you for completing this orientation to be approved as a 4-H leader in the Wyoming 4-H program. This session will focus on positive youth development, what it is, and how you can effectively create an environment that supports learning and growth for all members. For this session, it will be helpful to have the following handouts. The experiential learning model, the Big M, eight key elements to a successful 4-H club, targeting life skills wheel, character counts, and ages and stages. Experiential learning is the primary teaching technique used to educate 4-H youth. As an integral part of the 4-H mission, the process of learn by doing or experiential learning is an essential component of all 4-H programs and curriculum. Learning by doing is called experiential learning because it is based on learning from experiences. The members themselves do, reflect, and apply. When they do the activity, they, they complete the activity. They in, in reflect, they have an opportunity to look at what happened and talk about what's important, what were the things that they learned. In application, they have an opportunity to ask, so what? How does this experience connect to real world? And now what? How can they take what they've applied or what they've learned in this situation and apply it to other approaches? This approach is also useful with adult learners. There are eight essential elements in positive youth development. Each of the eight elements is vital to the growth and development of youth. It is the combination of the elements that creates a positive environment for youth development to occur. The eight essential elements can be broken down into the Big M principle, belonging, independence, generosity, and mastery. If youth are actively involved in 4-H or other youth organizations, they will at some point experience all of these elements. It is important to consider all of these elements when planning activities for youth. Some youth will be heavily involved in the 4-H program, and we'll, we will need to make every effort to ensure they have exposure to all of these elements. It is also important to consider that some youth may participate in 4-H more sporadically. Their experiences should not be discounted. The 4-H experience is important to youth who attend both regularly and less frequently. By utilizing the Big M philosophy, you can help youth learn and grow in 4-H by utilizing these five guidelines. Get to know the youth, understand them, teach them, encourage them, and respect them. Help them develop character. The targeting life skills model shows skills 4-H members should learn throughout their time in the 4-H program. These skills happen through active involvement in 4-H over, over many years, not all at one time. Character Counts is the nation's most widely used character development framework. It is used in schools, youth, sports, and civic organizations. It is based on shared beliefs and a consensus of values called the six pillars of character. Wyoming 4-H has adopted the Character Counts framework in all areas of programming. 4-H educators, leaders, and volunteers are encouraged to create an environment in which character counts in the club, county, and state. Volunteer leaders should work with the 4-H educator to accomplish our goal of character education. This can be done by recognizing random acts of good character, training volunteer leaders in character counts, and developing community partnerships that will strengthen the entire county framework. Each extension office also has resources available to leaders. The 4-H newsletter includes a statewide character counts insert each month. It is important to create educational programs that are developmentally appropriate. As a leader, you may be working with various ages of youth, often all at the same time. Keep in mind that no two individuals develop at the same pace and that transitions are gradual over time. A 4-H'er -er may seem very responsible and mature at one meeting, then noisy and bored at the next. It is important to keep in mind the stages of development that you may encounter and plan your activities accordingly. Having older youth mentor younger youth, assist with activities, and planning activities that are age appropriate are ways to help work with various age groups. I will highlight a few characteristics you can expect. You will find many more examples and suggestions in the handout. For our youngest members, the Clover Buds, games and hand-on activities are best. Comp competition is not appropriate for this age group. 
The junior members will have short attention spans. They will begin developing independence at that age, so it's important to think about those types of activities. Intermediate members will be stronger and more coordinated. They can absorb more information. The senior members will, will learn best when you, they are able to start taking leadership positions. Remember, there can be a great variety of development among the different age groups and the youth themselves. Thanks for completing this orientation. Please remember to go online at the State 4-H website and complete the evaluation. Then set up an appointment to meet with your County 4-H educator. Your completion status will be forwarded to the County 4-H educator and they will update your orientation in your official record.